Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Tuesday here, heading into month end, 28 April. So 30 value day today, so not quite month end value. Um, but we will, be st we will start looking at some of these month end questions and flows, uh, I guess, starting tomorrow. Uh, for now, things look incredibly quiet. Uh, annoyingly quiet. Overnight, we had very, uh, very reduced ranges, right? 20 point range in Euro, uh, 30 point range in Cable, 20 point range in Dollar Swiss, 18 points in Dollar Yen. I could go on. Uh, looks incredibly quiet. Let's just stick with this dollar yen chart for a second. I posted on Twitter, as you can all see, there's an expiry today, three yards at uh, 107.50. That uh, sucks, donkey dicks. Um, doesn't help us. Uh, anyone looking for a breakout either side, these kind of option expiries um, are annoying, right? Uh, so we're looking for a very quiet, reduced vol day. You do need to have your entries uh, in, even though uh, it looks unlikely. So, you know, somewhere near 106.90, you need to enter into shorts. Why do you have to have your entries in? Uh, in case there's news, right? And this looks like um, the only way dollar yen is going to break out is it's going to be news, which is why I wrote yesterday that I think maybe this trigger is going to be the Fed. Um, Powell could say any number of things that would be wildly bullish for the dollar um, or wildly bearish. Of course, going into the Fed, we will lean on the there's a better chance that he says something wildly bearish for the dollar. He, like all guys and gals who run uh, central banks, everyone wants to devalue their currency in times like these. It just makes life easier for, uh, for your exporters. There's no inflation, so you don't really have to worry about that in the beginning. So let's have a look uh, maybe tomorrow night have a closer look at this but in the meantime this could surprise some people right this could be one of those deals where the market turns into a famous hypnotist and just puts us to sleep you're getting very sleepy very sleepy now bark like a dog if you find yourself barking um, better snap out of it right because uh, these are times when news bombs can drop and you don't want to miss this now, right? We've had this long consolidation, and these kind of consolidation periods produce big breakouts. I don't pretend to know which side is going to break. Uh, my bias is the downside, but I'm equally happy to pay 108.08s on the top side. Um, so my advice uh, to myself, self, uh, stay ready. Have your entries in. And if your entries get done and there is no news, or your entries get done and it looks like just some sort of bullshit, bullshitty thing, then just square it. Like no drama, right? Like you don't you don't have to you don't have to go to the grave with this position. There's be a million other trades uh, in your career. Um, so anyway, this is dollar yen, uh, euro, nothing, looks crappy. Uh, gun to my head, I'm a buyer, no position, don't care. Cable, same, don't care. Gun to my head, I'm a seller, um, but no position. You know, I have views on all of these currencies, but just because you have a view doesn't mean you can put on a trade. A lot of you, a lot of you are like constantly asking me, oh, you're, you have a strong view on the dollar going lower. And I'm like, uh, yeah, I do. Um, but that's like only one third of the distance you have to travel to put a trade on. 
you have to structure it you have to make sure it's executable uh, and then you have to execute it properly so um, I don't know grow up uh, grow up Twitter uh, you guys are like babies um, who don't really understand a lot of this shit sterling yen I do like lower and one of the reasons I like dollar yen lower is because both euro yen and sterling yen still are lending themselves as a picture as a technical picture to lower um, and when we first started looking at euro yen downside sterling yen downside last week and dollar yen downside um, they were kind of speaking to one another as as they're prone to do right um, the yen component so this also gives me a little bit of a lean to the downside could put in some funky right shoulder here or but, but for now the volatility is very low so I'm not gonna waste your time today with with more babbling like I just was babbling there um, what else are we looking at Boone's uh, we sold 76s yesterday, but then we just got bored. Um, selling high ones is still still the way forward in Boons. It's a tradable, tactical deal. Obviously, the ECB is buying a just a truckload of fixed income. This is not going to fall out of bed anytime soon. Uh, it is going to stay in small ranges, but we do exercise our bias on selling high ones. Today, we're offering 98s just because we think there could be stops now above 95. 98s seem a whole, that's like a long way away. It's 46.8 right now. But, you know, whatever. Um, we're exercising a right to be short on high ones. Equities. We talked about this coming up to 85. It got to 70, it got to 81 and a quarter yesterday. Um, Boy, this sure looks like it's going to break out of this on the top side. Um, our directional book is short. Our tactical book is square. We will sell high ones. Um, but we are also waiting for this to break to sell high ones, right? We don't want to sell high ones here. You either sell it below 28.15 or wait and kind of sell it 29.50 uh, for the tactical book. Uh, if you're itching to sell here, you have to just ask yourself why. Uh, the only way you would sell here is, say, if you're going to leave an 85 stop. But then take a step back and think about how many 28, 85 stops there are out there. Anyway, gold. So hard. Where is that sucker? 17.10. What the fuck, right? Uh, Got to get long gold. Where and how is is beyond my powers. Of it's just beyond my powers. Three red bars now. Uh, you know, there's going to be stops below this number. That's 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 for sure. Maybe we can sneak some in at sixteen forty. Who knows? Uh, What's the likely day gold's gonna, gold's gonna move? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? Wednesday night for the Fed. All right. As you can see, uh, in a playful mood today, not much going on um, trading wise. We own a tiny bit of Aussie, um, just because we think Aussie is it's gonna keep creeping creeping higher but look uh, the trade today the trade this morning in Europe is don't trade uh, there's no great setups there's nothing interesting out there uh, this dollar yen option is going to screw longs and shorts we're just going to probably be at 107.50 at 4 o'clock um, so put the guns down is my advice be patient, wait, watch. Setups will come. Uh, I'll leave you with that. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.